At this point, we've made hundreds, if not thousands, possibly millions of calls to random people hoping to help them out with their dating lives. Wow, yeah. oh, that's yeah. true, well, man. So many misdialed numbers in that time as yeah. well. <laughs> I, I would hate to look at what our phone bill is for this company. It's probably <sighs> ridiculous. That's <laughs> probably why they don't pay us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but today... When one of our listeners gave us a woman's phone number to dial, we put it in our system and something strange came up. Ooh. It's what? something that's never happened on the show before. Kind of hilarious. And mm. you know, even though it was weird, we dialed it anyway. <laughs> You're going to hear it in your brand new second date update next. One of our listeners, Jack, emailed us saying he just went on the most unique first date he's ever had. Ooh, I love hearing these. And even though he says he probably wouldn't ever do it again, he says he did have a good time. Which is funny. (laughs) It's what most guests say when they come on our show. Uh, Had fun. Probably never going to do that again. It's a a once-in-a-lifetime experience for a reason. (laughs) Jack, welcome to what might be the most regrettable experience of your life. Hey, Hey guys. How's it going? Thanks for having me on. I like your attitude, man. (laughs) Yeah, we're going to try and change that by the time you leave us. But what was the name of the lady you went out with? Uh, her name was Nicole, and we met on Bumble. Oh, cool. Oh, you nice. met online? I like Bumble, well, man. Yeah. Before we get to whatever your date was, lately we've been asking people to tell us about what was on the person's profile if they <laughs> met them online. Again? That oh, didn't, no, it did know, not work out last time. The last time it backfired. No, it okay, do we want to so do we that? can only improve on what happened uh, from okay. before. All right. Just, uh, I like that I like attitude. to get to know the people before okay. we call them. We so can improve. what was on Nicole's profile? Like what you liked about it? You want me to read it or? or yeah. Or just tell or us. Or fax it over to us so that yeah, we can read it ourselves. <laughs> but uh, it's probably easier if you pull it up. Yeah. <laughs> so her bio, this is what her bio says. It says, witty, sarcastic, and won't put up with your blank. Ah. Oh. Uh, BS, oh. I would assume. I like her already. <laughs> no wonder you swiped on her. Yeah, no, I, I'm on Bumble a lot and I swipe as much as possible. Okay. I swipe as and much as possible. <laughs> Very <laughs> important, though. Describe the picture to us, bro. Yeah. Important to you. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. I know a lot Wait, about women. I like okay? ideas to copy Do you. Yes. So. You've been okay. single for a while. I know. It's because I know what to not look for. So the first picture is just her, like, uh, I guess she's on a hike or something, it looks uh, like. Of course it is. She's toxic, bro. Jose's what? turned what? off. She's toxic. Okay, that's cool. that was, like, millions of people go on hikes, Jose. Exactly. There's millions of toxic people out no, there. No, that just means that she's a little low maintenance. She likes to be outside. Okay. Of course, she went on a hike once in five years. And goes to go on hike. Maybe wow. talking about her picture isn't the best idea. Let's get back to the yeah. bio. What else does she say about herself? <laughs> oh, this was the funniest part. It says <laughs> that she loves to celebrate minor holidays. Oh, that's a funny thing to put on. What does that mean? Minor yeah. holidays? Like, how minor? What's that? Yeah, I, I had the same reaction. I messaged her about it, and she said minor holidays like Jelly Bean Day, uh, National Compliment of Stranger Day. Oh, those random uh, ones. <laughs> basically made up holidays. The ones yeah. There's, there's yeah. one every day, I think. Totally okay. everything. So she's, That's cool. She's quirky. That's <laughs> unique. That stands out. All right, so we, I think we got a, a good idea of the type of person she is. What did you guys end up doing for your date that was so unique? So I kind of like used that last bit as an inspiration for our first date. Um, oh, really? That's cute. Yeah, we decided which day we were going to meet up. And I, I looked on the calendar to figure out which minor holiday was on that day. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I found out it was a Thomas Crapper Day. Thomas Crapper? Oh, Thomas Crapper. What, what Who day? is Thomas Crapper? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so Thomas Crapper, he's the guy who invented, like, the modern toilet. <gasps> Oh. That's why we call it that? Wow. A true that is hero, kind of mind blowing. Mr. It's, Crapper is. It's not actually a cuss oh, word. Man. It's someone's oh, last it's a person. <laughs> this is amazing. Who is his partner, Theodore Flusher? Wait a second, so though. Funny. What What kind of date are you going to do around Thomas oh, Crapper? Not day? really hot. A poor are, date. Are you sure you didn't want to choose a different day? Honestly. I, mean, <laughs> I love it. A different holiday? Well, I looked it up, and there's actually this thing online where you can find, like, a list of the top toilets in town. There's, like, this list of ten of, like, the most beautiful (laughs) toilets. You can actually go to each one and visit it. I don't know if I can be a part Uh, of this. So you guys went to visit the the coolest (laughs) restrooms in the city. That's exactly what we did. That's what we did for our first date. Dude, that is amazing. Is so how, could, I mean, how could she not fall in love with him? Are you sure? I could give a few reasons. <laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> I think it's so funny. I, well, I guess, oh, what did she think? She liked that idea? 
I mean, it seemed like she got a kick out of it. I think she thought it was really funny. And, and honestly, I got to admit, some of the toilets were beautiful. Like, some of the views were incredible. Oh, wow. Wow. So At least wait. you know for your anniversary, you can buy conjoined toilets. <laughs> Isn't hers? You just poo together. Yeah. Did, you, did you spring this on her, or did you tell her pre? You know, like, did she know what she was getting herself into that night? Uh, I told her beforehand. Okay, okay. that's good, because that's not a good, like, that wouldn't be a good surprise. And remember, it's her like. She's totally. the one who likes it, so I'm sure she was into it. Many- so is this a situation where you just go to all these different toilets and take a look? Or, or are we test actually them testing oh, them out? The or are you going together too? Because there's men and women's toilets, oh, or yeah. you know, some of them are all gender, but yeah. not all the of them. Ones. What are we doing here? Look or leak? <laughs> <laughs> we used a couple of them if, if the timing was right. Aww. I don't like Did any you? of this, honestly. <laughs> okay. This is so fun. Were you able to like have some drinks? Or, yeah, like, there were a couple at restaurant like bars. We were able to get a drink at a couple and like snack on some food as well. So there was some normal, you know, date activity going on as well. It wasn't just toilet viewing. <laughs> toilet talk. Okay. Well, that sounds good. What about? Uh, so how did it end? With how'd a flush? You... No. <laughs> how did you two leave? It? Double no. flush. Um, it ended okay, I, I think. I mean, we were both really tired because we saw all 10, all in the downtown area, oh. and, and walking to each one. So by the end of the date, we were oh. both exhausted. Yeah. Oh, you were pooped. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Too exhausted to get a little kiss in there? Yeah, no kiss. She just gave me a quick hug, and she said, call me. Yeah. Um, hmm. I think you I went to too many. Oh, too many. Yeah. I see yeah. what you did there. Yeah. God, sometimes I really hate our own show. Yeah. But I see on your email here, it says it's been a week since that date happened. So mm. we're going to play a song. We'll come back. We're going to call Nicole for you. Mm. I can't wait to hear her review of this date. I don't know I if really I want curious. any more details than we've already got. <laughs> I but do. I think it's fascinating. We're I gonna, just hope wow. she's not in a pinch. <laughs> oh, she's no, going to do no. it at her own no. risk. It's coming up with your second date update <laughs> next. In the middle of a second date update with Jack, who went on a toilet tour of the city recently. So funny. His name they should be John. Yeah. <laughs> they found a list online of the top 10 toilets in the downtown area, went to all of them in honor of Thomas Crapper Day, because mm-hmm. his date Nicole <laughs> likes celebrating funny minor holidays. And that yes. happened to be the holiday that their date fell on. Absolutely. But here's the thing. Before we call Nicole... I had a quick conversation with producer Boyd out in the hallway. Yeah, what? And something that we actually do on this show, surprisingly, is our due diligence. (laughs) Before we call people, we double check and put their phone numbers into our database. Do we do do that? We we do do it. (laughs) Just to make sure, you know, we're not getting scammed or people are just trying to get free dinners off of us using our gift cards. And when we put Nicole's number in. What did we find? We got a match. Oh, she's, she's in actually our database? been on the show with us before as she someone has? asking us for a second date. Shut no up. Way. We've had her on second date before. We have. So, Jack, here's the deal. We're still going to do this for you, but I'm just letting you know now it's going to be different probably if she does yeah. pick up because she's going to know who we are. And she's going to remember that you're on the line, Jack. Uh, yeah, she'll know that you're there already. Yeah. That's a little odd. <laughs> it could be a really good thing because we have history with her and rapport. We, we could help build you up. Wait, did she get a date when she was on? Was it like a successful one or a failed one? From what we found when she called us, she thought she was going out with a guy who was from a really wealthy family. But oh. when we called him, it turned out to be a different guy. She had Googled someone who had the same uh, name. I think I remember. So she didn't want to date him again. Am I remembering yeah, right? Yeah, they didn't she go out again. She wanted the rich guy. She thought, yeah. She, Smart oh, girl. No, so wait, are we going into this thinking she's shallow? Uh-huh. Shallow people are okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, if she didn't want to, she <laughs> wants to be a rich guy, not a poop guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> maybe, oh my God. maybe she's completely changed her ways after being on the phone with us. Or maybe let's just get her on the phone and find out. I'm, like, dying to talk to this girl again. Okay. <laughs> let's call Nicole and see if she answers and what she has to say. You ready to do this, Jack? Yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens. All right. Here we go. Hello. Hey, Nicole. Oh, yeah. Her voice sounds familiar. Hi. Nicole, it's your favorite morning show. Hey, Nicole. If you say the wrong name, it's going to be very upsetting. (laughs) She's like, is this Ryan Seacrest? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Is this Jeff and Brooke? Hey. Hey. 
Yes, God. That was going to be awkward. What's up, friend? Well, she still didn't quite get the name right, but we'll give her credit. We got the names right. Close enough, yeah. (laughs) How you doing? I'm good. How are you? How's your dating life going? We missed you. Wow. Uh, um, Well, it's been okay. Yeah, better than the last time we chatted. Oh, really? So an improvement. That's a good sign. We're not surprised to hear that, actually, because we heard about a date that you went on recently. Ooh-hoo-hoo. Wait, what? Yep. yep. <laughs> it's happening. This is happening, Nicole. Somebody actually emailed us to get a hold of you. Oh, no. Oh, I'm on the other side now? Yep. Yes! <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we should really get, like, a frequent flyer card for this. Or oh, something. like a little punch card? Yeah, yeah. Call yeah. it, like, a frequent failure card. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know if you know who would have emailed, but uh, we're reaching out now on behalf of Jack. Oh. Oh. Uh, don't say it like that, Nicole. No, he's he's nice, dude. Yeah. 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 I'm dying to hear like your review of the date, the toilet date that Mm -hmm. you guys went on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well Exactly. (laughs) uh, Was it fun? Yeah. Like I love that he was creative and that he really read my profile and saw that I was really into celebrating little holidays and went out of his way to make a date that was tailored to that. So that totally won me over. That was super sweet, super cool. We thought that was pretty thoughtful. Yeah, and it was Thomas Crapper Day, which (laughs) learned a lot. Lucky you. Very funny, very creative, but also kind of gross. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Aww. It was it? Oh, bro. But- <laughs> well, it's like you would think that if it was a list of the 10 best toilets, they're all going to be really clean, you know? Yeah. Old. Thank God you didn't go to the 10 worst toilets in the city. That yeah. would have been a really <laughs> bad day. They all, you know, like had candles and nice yeah. lighting and, and um, you know, Ooh. we're clean. Okay. But, Fancy uh, toilets. And he said you guys got to have drinks at different bars and maybe. Oh, some- yeah. You know, he had the whole thing mapped out. So there were like stops for snacks and drinks. And- That's so awesome. Yeah. So what didn't you like? Well, at one of the bars, they had those really big pretzels. Mm. Okay. And, uh, oh, yeah. Those, those are good. Those, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we were trying to fit everything in. So The whole pretzel in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Brooke's like, I can relate. Yeah. <laughs> well, he wanted to do, like, all ten places in one night. So, okay. you know, we, we also had, like, a, you know, it was like timing, right? Okay. But he's okay. ambitious, so that's a good thing. Right again, great stuff. Okay, uh, Good. but he hadn't finished the pretzel before we went to the next bathroom, so he brought the pretzel into the bathroom. Oh, Mm-mm. oh, he was eating that. the pretzel in the bathroom, like that's chewing kinda... the pretzel. Oh, that's holding gross. It, ugh. So the air really? exposure. I mean, you were there. You could open all the doors. He didn't have to touch anything nasty. Going in there still. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, mean, they say no, when you flush a toilet, like, that's where the most, the yeah, most but uh, particles yeah. are going yeah. all over the place. But nobody was flushing toilets at the same time he was eating, but right? They, the bathroom. Yeah, but it got worse. Oh. Got worse. Oh, no. Okay, there's more. Uh-oh. Yeah, so the next one was next to an office building. Okay. Okay. So we had to go in an elevator. Yeah. And he brought a bowl of soup. Soup? What? What, what do you mean? <laughs> soup. No. Like, where do you get the soup from? So we had stopped at the next place. He was like, oh, this place has great soup. So we got soup. <laughs> and I didn't realize, like, we, we walked out and I turned around and we're in the elevator. And he's got a bowl of soup and he brought the soup <laughs> into the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> oh wait. So the, wait, he's what? eating soup on the toilet? So just in the bathroom. He even set it down on the urinal <gasps> so we could take a selfie. Oh. Okay. That's even t- that's too far for me. Split piece I mean, soup, it's huh? one thing to like not touch anything and have the pretzel and like that is food gross. in bathrooms. Okay. Okay. Don't go together. Spray, uh, you got, yeah. Well, this is a new oh, wrinkle boy. to the story that we hadn't heard yet. And I also uh, kind of want to see the selfie of you next to a urinal. <laughs> actually, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually interested in that too, but a hot bowl of chili. First, Yay! Nicole, you probably already know that Jack's been listening the whole time. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, so Hi. Jack, why don't you uh, why don't you hop in here with us and tell us right, what you were boy. thinking there? I sorry, I, I'm a little confused. I don't see. This is weird to y'all. I don't understand. The, Putting the, a bowl of soup on the urinal is weird. Yeah, that's where Brooke draws the line. Yeah, but no one else is in there. No one was using the facilities. That okay. I wanted to take a picture. I, I guess I could give you that if mm-hmm. it's empty and it's no, not being flushed. No, I'm not and, giving him that. And Nicole, <laughs> did you ever voice your concerns about the open bowl of soup? 
I, no, I'm not going to say anything to this barbarian who brings his soup into the pooper. Oh, now he's a barbarian? <laughs> That's, That's a little much, because I know, I know for a fact Brooke eats burritos on her toilet at home. Uh, she loves but it's it. my home toilet. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, yeah. It's not a urinal. I know exactly how clean that it's place is. It's pretty much a burrito factory. Yeah. Now, yeah. Say, Brooke, you should be on Jack's side here. Yeah, you yeah. guys are kindred spirits. Urinals <laughs> gross me out. I mean, to be honest, I've always kind of done it. It's just like, it's a very convenient place to like I eat most I of my like breakfast in the bathroom. Oh, oh no. no. What are you doing oh. at the same time? It's efficient, I guess. Like all the time. Getting yeah, a lot super done. efficient, especially on weekdays when I'm getting ready for work. I'll just bring my oatmeal or whatever <laughs> I'm eating into the Oh no. Ooh, my what? omelet's it's, done. You know what? Go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's a fibrous meal, you guys. It's a fibrous yes. meal. Oh. How do we know Thomas Crapper didn't eat French onion soup while he was doing his French deal? French onion. <laughs> Little I'm, I'm assuming he's a French guy. I don't know. I mean, I am on the crap out with the soup. I just think it's not like it's not like he's going to the bathroom and not washing his hands, right, Thomas? True. You're washing afterwards. That's you're, a point. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I still I observe all the bathroom etiquette, but okay. sometimes I I have some food in there with me. I, I don't. I th- honestly, I thought everyone did that from time to time. Okay. okay. I mean, maybe people, not everybody, but yeah. a majority, maybe. And Nicole, th- I mean, this doesn't. Minority. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> enough <stretch>. people. <laughs> enough yeah, people do it. More than one. It's a quirk. <laughs> I mean, least. here's the thing it's a quirk, Nicole. Nicole, this is like a kind of a small thing that we should be able to get over. And if you can, we would send you out for another date on us. As long as he promises not to bring any food in the bathroom. We can have a second date. Jack. Jack, can you agree to do that? All right. If it means getting another date with you, Nicole, I'll, I will cut oh, it out. God, Look yeah. at the sacrifice. I never thought that would be such a big ask. Oh, okay. Nicole. He has to do it. He just <laughs> what a gentleman. It. All right. Yes. What a gentleman, she says. Well, so are you going to go out with this gentleman? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Okay. Yay! Yeah, we did it for Nicole. Yeah, that date didn't go down the crapper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on top.